Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kayla, if you're new here, and if you're not, welcome back. Super excited that you're here today. As y'all can see from that title, you know, it's a new year, new makeovers. There's still so many things we need to do in this house. So we are going to be talking about my guest bathroom and the vision that I have for that space. If you've been here for a while, you know that I bought my home at the tail end of 2020 and it is a 1950s fixer upper. I have three bedrooms, two bathrooms, over 1200 square feet. And we've been going room by room giving everything a transformation. We started with the kitchen in literally 2021. And now 2022, the big project that we wanna focus on is the bathroom. So the master bathroom, but the guest, and the guest bathroom. So today it's all about the guest bathroom. We really wanna get that in order, like get it nice and get it right. You guys really seem to love when I just break down like what's going on in my head and I talk to y'all like about my designing process and my vision for everything. So that's exactly what we're gonna do here in this video. We are gonna plan and we are gonna design together. And of course, y'all are gonna let me know down in the comments what you think of my ideas that I have for the bathroom. And I do have some crazy ideas as per usual, right? <laughs> So currently, my guest bathroom is all pink. Yes, all pink. I did some research and I learned that pink bathrooms actually became super popular at the time that my home was built, which was in the 1950s. But during the period from the 40s to 60s is when pink bathrooms started popping up literally everywhere. In my research, I learned that over 5 million homes, you guys, have pink bathrooms. And there were actually 20 million homes made with during like that time frame. So five million homes, that's a lot. And I wondered like, why pink? Like, why pink? Why was it so popping back then? Granted, I love pink, but to make the whole bathroom pink, like why are people doing that? And so come to find out pink was the color of luxury. It was the color of pleasure and the color of just everything. Oh, and it was a color of leisure as well. So luxury, pleasure, and leisure. You guys know that I have a pink front door and I have a pink back door. So you're probably wondering, Kayla, why don't you wanna keep this pink bathroom? And I think you guys already know why. I just wanna make the house a little bit more modern. That's really what we're going and we're doing in each and every room, just bringing it into the current day and age while also keeping like those really cute character pieces that are here within the house, like all the brick accents and the wood floors, um, but just bringing it and making it a little bit more current. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. As much as I love the color pink, I can't, I just do not, I cannot stand that pink bathroom. And if you agree with me, let me know down in the comments that you are on the same page. If you've seen a pink bathroom in your day, or if your home had a pink bathroom or it still has a pink bathroom, comment down below so we can chat it up. I know that one of the options you guys recommended to me in the past when I first did my video where I bought the house, the empty house tour before renovations, before anything was done, literally the day I closed, I came over here and I filmed that video. And I know one of the suggestions was to buy this product. I believe it's by rust but so many other brands make it where you can paint over like those square tiles or any tiles and give it like a white, clean and fresh look. I looked into that. It is very cost effective and I'll have some pictures popped up of what I'm talking about. Um, I know the odor, some people say the odor is a little bit too much, but I thought like I weighed the pros and cons, like do I really wanna do a true demo here in this space or do I just wanna paint over the towel? Y'all know I have no problem painting anything so I really did consider it. But in the long run, I decided that it would be best just to rip the tiles off the wall and just start over and start fresh. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. But if you're looking for a more cost effective way, reglazing a tub and painting over bathroom tile is definitely a really cheap way to still get that modern look. So I just wanted to put that out there for anybody who's wondering, I wonder why Kayla's just not painting over it. I really want to do a big demo, a big renovation within the guest bathroom. It's such a huge bathroom and 
I know it's gonna look so cute because I have all these ideas up here in my head. So now guys, we are about to head into the bathroom and I wanna show you guys exactly what we are working with within that space. You'll notice there's a linen closet in there, of course a toilet, vanity, shower tub combo, all of that good stuff. It's actually a rather large bathroom. So I know I wanna like, I'm already thinking about materials and costs and things like that because we're gonna need all new everything. I don't even think we're keeping the toilet. I think we're just going all new. So I'm really excited for this process, but I wanna show y'all what it looks like in its current state before we begin doing demo so we can all like brainstorm about what it could be. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Kayla here and I am super excited because we're standing in the bathroom and that means we're about to give this space a complete makeover, at least start that makeover process. So I know it's been a minute since y'all have been in here, but this is the second full bathroom within my home and as y'all can see, it's all pink. You know, back in the day, this was totally the style, but it's not my style anymore. Y'all know I love pink, but not to this extent. So I want to show you guys what it looks like and then talk about our plans for updating it. So come on in. When you first walk into the bathroom, we have like this huge sink, which I actually, not even a sink, but vanity. And I actually think it's really, really great. So in the future, I think I want to add two sinks here. Y'all let me know if that's team too much, but I think two things would be really great. Some mirrors overhead, new lighting, because that lighting fixture is, I don't know how old, <laughs> as is everything. And um, so yeah, all of this gotta go. It's all gotta go. And notice that this whole room is wrapped with this pink tile. It is insane. They love this pink tile so much. So I mean, a lot of it's going to have to go and be replaced with regular drywall, if you can imagine that. And while you just had a look at the floors, the floors are also like a peachy and brown color, tan. I mean, it's really just not cute at all with like a dark brown crowd. So the floor has got to go too. Everything's got to go. But let me finish with the tour. So we have the toilet and that will stay where it is. Actually, everything's going to stay where it is, but it's just going to be updated. We have a nice window here, which is great a vent over here, and then the star of the show is the shower. And this bathroom is actually really, really spacious, you guys. Um, so I love that. We're gonna get rid of all of this. I wanna do tile from floor to ceiling in here. I think that will be so cute in this little nook. And I wanna do a claw foot tub right here. Yes, a claw foot tub. I think that's gonna be amazing because I wanna keep a tub within the house and in my bedroom, there's just a walk-in shower. So I feel like that's gonna really be nice. And then behind the door, blocking off a little bit of light, but there is a closet, like a linen closet. So I think we will keep this here, but I also thought about just getting rid of it and extending the shower, but is that necessary? I don't know. But this is what this area is looking like. It's a lot of storage in there and the ceilings go all the way up and there are wood floors in there. Okay, so what y'all think of the bathroom? It's not bad. It has a lot of potential. It's really cute. Um, it's just the color that's throwing me off and all the old fixtures that have like water damage down at the bottom. I didn't even show y'all those parts because it's kind of gross, but you'll see during demo. We've, we've begun demo. Let's chat about design. So the first thing I like to do is create a mood board. And a mood board can really be anything. It could be colors, it could be pictures, it could be textures, it could be all of those things. It could be one thing that you saw and you just want to plan your space around it. So for me, that one thing that I really want and I'm planning my whole space around is the clawfoot tub. Y'all, I have always wanted a clawfoot tub. In fact, I had one in my apartment that I had here in Atlanta and I loved it. It just has that old school charm and feel. I would love to get like a clawfoot tub that is has been salvaged and it's like a DIY, but there are a lot of new ones online, which is what I'm looking into as well. I'm doing the pros and cons, you know, antique route or new route. Either way, I think they are a beautiful piece of bathroom furniture, <laughs> like 
so luxurious and cute that you really don't see a lot these days. So I really want to put that in the bathroom. And the great thing is that we have the space for it. So that was the one thing that I knew on my mood board I had to include. I'm gonna show you guys my total mood board in just a second, but before I do, I wanna give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Honey. Online shopping is my go-to these days, and Honey is an online free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically applies them for you during checkout. Here's how it works. Here I am shopping at homedepot.com, which is my go-to for all things DIY and home improvement. On top of automatically searching for promo codes on your favorite sites, Now Honey will drop down and let you know if it offers cash back on that site too. Just click activate cash back and you'll get cash back in your PayPal account. I picked up a few items while shopping online because I just wanted to have some more tangible things like samples that we could play with in this video. So I have some pile samples here that I really love and enjoy. The camera isn't doing these justice, but we gonna talk a little bit more about these later. And I also bought a bathroom faucet on homedepot.com. So I'm really excited about these items. So if you have a computer, Honey should be on it. And it's perfect for Home Depot's winter bath event that they're having this month in January from the 13th to the 26th. Hey guys, it's me and Marshmallow editing here. I actually set the wrong dates. The Home Depot winter bath event is from the 13th to the 30th, but they also have a promo code that you can use bed bath 15 until the 26th. So just to clear that up. So many bath products are going to be on sale. So you're, if you're like me and you're redoing your bathroom, this is the time to get all your stuff, y'all. I'm gonna be on the website every single day looking to see what's on sale and making up my purchases so just a heads up on that but other than home depot honey also helps you save money on a lot of different sites as well from retail to tech to home decor it can help you find those promo codes and automatically apply them for you during your checkout so you can save some money too. Get Honey for free today by using my custom link right here. It'll also be down below in the description box. And I wanna thank Honey so much for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna show y'all the samples a little bit later when we start talking about the different vibes that I'm going for. But right now, I just want to share with you guys my mood board. I have my computer right here, but I'm going to pop the pictures up on the screen so you guys can see it too. And you'll probably see that like I have two different, it seems like I have two different vibes going on and that is because it is. Your girl is confused, but these are all the things that I like. There's something in each of these pictures that made me go, ooh, that's cute. Or ooh, I could totally dig that within the bathroom and I can see it flowing well. So like in the first picture, I love the herringbone like pattern of the tile. I think that is everything and I really think I wanna do it in this bathroom. I've never done herringbone before anywhere. So y'all let me know if you have and if you enjoy it, what you think of herringbone instead of like the classic stacking pattern. Um, in the second picture, down below that one, I love that clawfoot tub and I love how the feet are just so chunky and massive. They really make a statement. So that is super duper cute. And then in the middle picture, do y'all see that tub? Woo, woo, that tub is everything. Like, I love the copper color at the bottom. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea because even my fiance, Marcus, you guys, he was not feeling the copper tub and I'm like babe this is gorgeous what he is not feeling it so y'all can be honest it won't hurt my feelings you can let me know what you think down below in the comments but I feel like the way they styled it with the flooring like those warm tones is just absolutely beautiful and then on the other side we have like a really pretty brass accessories and the bottom picture I love the color of those tiles so those tiles in that picture literally resembled the ones that I picked up and bought from homedepot.com, you guys. So like this tile is gorgeous. I feel like y'all know me, I usually just wanna do the purest and brightest white, but in this bathroom, I wanna do some more cream, some more like antique type of white if that makes sense so these tiles that i picked up they're not true white like 
you see the color I'm wearing on my shirt is like a bright white, but these are just so like a natural white and they look really, really cute. And I feel like they're perfect because the style of tub I'm getting, even if it is brand new, it's not going to look like it is in a sense because claw foot tubs just, people don't really use those a lot nowadays. So I want to get something like everything to float together. And then we have my second mood board. There's something about the cloth foot tub with the black at the bottom that I really enjoy, but I do not think that I'll be doing it in this space, but I do love that black and white cloth foot tub. It's very, very cute. And I also have the top picture in the middle, the herringbone, the herringbone, the tile. I love that pattern, it's so cute. I also enjoy like all the brass accessories. Brass is just so cute to me. And in the kitchen, I did all black like accessories and stuff. So I really want to dibble and dabble in the brass. I think that'll be like a gorgeous metal to incorporate in the bottom middle picture. I just love how they use that rug. Like you can't even tell really what's on the floor, whether it's a hexagon towel or a penny towel or a square towel. It doesn't matter because that rug just kind of stands out so much. So I put that on my mood board to remind myself I don't need to do like a fun or bold or crazy floor to like really make the design because the rug, a, a rug in the bathroom could look really, really cute. And it could kind of distract the eye from what's on the floor. So I might go cheaper on the floor this time. In the kitchen, I did like a fun floor. So I think I want to keep the floor simple, especially because I have the cloth tub and I want that to be the showstopper. And then in the last picture on the right, um, there is a fun floor, but it looks really minimal in a way. And I just like the way that tub looks. It's all white, and like that monochromatic tub. I thought that was really, really pretty. So that is my mood board for the bathroom and like the different ideas or things that I just liked from what I saw on Pinterest. But now I wanna share you guys my two different designs and I'm gonna go with either one of these. So y'all gotta let me know down in the comments whether you like design number one or design number two. Right now I can tell you and I'm about to show you that I love design number one, but I also love design number two. It's, it's always that way, right? So with style number one, I will be getting that copper clawfoot tub. Now I think it's just absolutely stunning. I've honestly never even seen it until I was on homedepot.com and I was just searching and I was like, whoa, what's this? This is so pretty, I've never seen this before. I think it's gorgeous. Now, those tubs are expensive, so I will be doing my research using Honey to make sure that I get a good deal on this tub if I do decide to go with that one. But I think it's gorgeous. So I wanna pair that tub with a really large vanity, um, something that resembles the size that's already in the bathroom. And I was thinking that a natural wood vanity would look really, really cute because we have natural wood in the kitchen. Even though the tub is copper, I think that the wood tone vanity will really ground the space and it'll like kind of connect everything together. And then for the tiles, because behind the tub, you know, I want to do floor to ceiling tile in the herringbone pattern, probably. I really like the cream and the taupe. So I think those will go together really, really well. And one of the reasons I bought this faucet right here was because it has some black, but it also has copper on it too. This one is called bronze. So I thought this was really pretty. Yeah. So guys, that is style number one. And now let's move on to style number two. So I added a lot of pictures for style number two because this was my original idea before I saw the copper tub. After I saw the copper tub, I was like, okay, let me think of some different ways that we can incorporate that. But here we have style number two. Again, I kept the same vanity and y'all let me know down in the comments um, whether we should get a double vanity or a single. At first I was thinking double. And then after talking to Marcus, he was thinking that a single would be just fine. So I was like, yeah, you know, you're probably right. Single would be fine. I don't think we could truly like, like go wrong with either one, but y'all give me your opinions on that. Especially since it's not a master bathroom. I mean, there's really no need to have two sinks in there. So it might be double the money on plumbing. 
which is where I think Marcus was coming from in terms of just doing one sink. So we'll probably go with that. But again, same vanity in there with the wood tones. And then check out this tub. It has those really chunky feet that I like on the closet tub, but they're brass. So I thought those were really, really pretty, especially if we did a simple floor, like a white floor, it would just pop. So I really like that. And then adding in a lot of brass accessories as well, like to complement the tub and complement all the fixtures and the lights and stuff. And finally, a glossy cream subway towel. So I think like no matter if we do the copper tub or we do a white tub with brass accessories, like these colors are definitely going to be what the backsplash in there is going to look like. You know that in my bathroom right now, it's totally wrapped with tile i mean the tile goes all the way around we're not doing all that we're just gonna do the tile behind the bathtub and then everything else is probably just gonna be a regular drywall speaking of i did go to home depot the other day and i picked up swatches um just some different colors that i thought would be pretty something other than like the ultra pure white. I just wanted to get like some different creams and stuff. So I have exclusive ivory. I have a lot of colors here. I have exclusive ivory, um, Ceylon cream, high style beige and heavy cream, which are all really, really pretty, like just beige tones. So I really, really like these. And I feel like these colors will complement the tile. I've never done a glossy, actually is the tile? Okay, it is pretty glossy, but <laughs> I was gonna say I've never done a glossy tile, but I'm wrong. The kitchen tile is glossy too, but these just have like an extra amount of sheen. I feel like the ones in the kitchen aren't this glossy, like these are just shining. So you guys can kind of like see the colors that I'm going for but that is the bathroom design now here is the goal the goal for us to be finished with this design is by the end of march i'm sorry <laughs> the goal for us to be finished with this design is by the end of february beginning of march so we gotta we gotta get the ball rolling. There's so many projects to do and there seems like there's so little time. But you guys know we're also planning a wedding and I do have some wedding videos coming up that I'm really excited to share with y'all. But um, we kind of want to get some of the projects out of the way so we really can just focus on the wedding. And if you haven't heard, the wedding is going to be in the backyard. Marcus posted a video about that on his channel. So I'll link that down in the description box. So. Um, we aren't sure what we're going to do about the bathroom situations. While people are coming in to use the bathroom, we want the bathroom to be cute and not like all decked out in pink. And we want it to be done because right now the bathroom is in demo mode. So when I do have like guests come over, family, friends, they're using the bathroom in the master, like in my room. So we need to get, we need to get this up and running. We need the guest bathroom to be right. So when people come over, like they have their own bathroom to go to. That, that works, right? <laughs> But you guys, that is the end of today's video. Please be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about this beautiful copper tub. Tell me I'm not the only one who thinks it's a total buy. I know I can't be the only one because there's a market where people are buying it and there's so many suppliers for these copper tubs. But like I said, they're pricey. So we are trying to do this on a budget, of course. We don't have an unlimited amount of funds and, um, so you can, if you're thinking about a budget standpoint, why we should do like a white tub instead, please write that in the comments as well. But just based off of looks and everything, let me know what y'all think about everything. I'm super excited for this reno and just getting back to like the DIY content. Guys, we did not forget about the laundry room. It just turns out to be a lot harder than we expected. And that was the project that we said we were gonna do like all by ourselves in a sense in terms of the floor and the walls and like not getting any help but there's nothing wrong with getting help so we're well, i think we're gonna seek some help with the um the floors and stuff we did find you know a plumber with my grandpa I told you guys about that but and the and the and the stuff is delivered y'all it's really just us that's holding things up anyways 
That is more than enough rambling. I can't promise that the bathroom demo is going to be the next video, but it is coming up very, very soon. We just wanna to try to get ahead of the game so we're not stressed out and we wanna just put out the best videos possible. So I'll see you guys in my next video. I really hope you enjoyed this one and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys!